Pizza Hut offers to print resumes on boxes and deliver uh, to employers. I like this. We know Pizza Hut. We love Pizza Hut. We're not going to play the video we made about Pizza Hut because we were almost sued by the good people at Yum Brands. But Pizza Hut is uh, aims to support your job search with the launch of Res Z Ames, a pizza box that doubles as a resume. Now, if you want bleaker news than this, I cannot help you. <laughs> this is the bleakest article of all the articles. We have articles about uh, airstrikes burning people alive. We have articles about couples uh, killing each other. We have articles about all the things they're doing in Florida. And yet, nothing, nothing is as bleak as this article where Pizza Hut is trying to help people get work. Okay, listen to this. Today, Pizza Hut is launching Res-Z-Ames. Resumes. Wait. It's like a pun, like resumes. Resume, resumes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that makes sense. Resumes. Yeah, I was like, what is that? Okay, res, but they're not spelling it. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I, I, okay. There's no way anyone participating in this program is pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> They're all pronouncing it like I am. Today, Pizza Hut is launching Resumes, a new offering aimed to help professionals stand out in today's competitive job market by delivering their resumes to prospective employers in a way that is sure to turn heads via Pizza Hut's iconic pizza boxes. 75% of res resumes are never read. But an, uh, an office pizza is hard to ignore. Amid the time of year coin September surge, where there is a notable increase in job opportunities across industries at the start of quarter four, Pizza Hut is leveraging what it does best, deliver hot, ready-to-eat pizza to help job seekers grab the attention of employers and deliciously differentiate themselves in a crowded job market. Can you imagine if this is your Hail Mary? <laughs> Can you imagine if this is it? Can you, let me tell you how bad it is. You have a chair, you have a rope, and the rope is already tied to the beam. <laughs> you have tested the beam, and you know it can hold your weight. You are sitting there, and you are saying, fuck it. One last shot. One last Hail Mary to land a fucking job. I'm going to send a greasy, disgusting <laughs> Pizza Hut pizza with my hot resume in it. The resume is going to come out hot, smelling like garlic, probably smudged, like the ink is going to be all smudged, okay? This is the bleakest thing I maybe have ever read on this show, and all I've done for the last eight years is read the bleakest, worst news, you know, throw the baby in a volcano, whatever else everyone's doing out there. Resumes allows job applicants in the toughest job market, New York City, to stand out like never before. I mean, can you imagine this? This piping hot resume will be almost impossible to ignore. We know finding a job can be daunting, especially during this key hiring season. So we wanted to lend a hand to our job-seeking customers. So Pizza Hut is struggling so much as a brand. That this is how bad they are doing, by the way. And that this should not be over, you know, like we, we cannot overstate how terrible Pizza Hut is doing. That this crack scheme, okay, to deliver resumes to companies by combining Pizza Hut's iconic pizza boxes with job seekers' resumes, we're hoping to help resumes drum up the same excitement as office pizza and help applicants make first of all, do you even get a pizza? Um, here, let's find out. Do you even get a goddamn... Because, by the way, if you delivered something that wasn't a pizza with a resume in it, I mean, I, I would... That's like you would go insane. And now they're out of it. We just clicked on it, on the, and they're out of it. Oh, man. Oh, so they must have been selling... Uh, I'll check on uh, X. Can you imagine we got John's name in a pizza box five years ago, and now he's the CFO of this company? John delivered his resume to us in a pizza box right before hanging himself. <laughs> he was standing on the chair when we called him. I mean, this is the worst. I've never heard of a worse idea. Oh, yeah, it came with a pizza. Yep, there you go. Here you go. Can you imagine someone chewing when they call you and tell you they're not interested, by the way? 
someone who caught like they're chewing and they go, by the way, uh, we're not uh, really looking for anyone at this time, but thank you for the pizza, you dunce. Thanks for the pizza, you loser, you complete zero. Thanks for this hot, delicious pizza. We do not need you. We're not interested at this time. We're not in the market for you, scum. But thanks for this pizza. Who pays for the pizza? The, the unemployed loser? Yeah. So the unemployed loser has to pay for the pizza given to the co- corporation that doesn't want him. So you're bribing a corporation <laughs> by sending them a pizza they don't even want you. You're not even going to hear. You're just going to send pizzas all around New York and no one's even going to, uh, it's never going to work. This doesn't work. This is not a movie. This is like that movie when Richard Gere and Julia Roberts, you know, pretty woman. Oh, the hooker is so clean cut and sweet and <laughs> the business guy. It doesn't work. This is like a 90s movie. It's an early 2000s rom-com where you deliver a pizza and you get a job. That's not what happens. Some fat secretary is going to eat the pizza. Your resume is going in the trash. This isn't it. Stop thinking like everything's this whimsical way it's going to happen. It's not a whimsical thing, this world. When I grew up, everybody everybody believed everything was whimsy and whimsical. I'm going to propose. I'm going to put the ring in the cake, and my girlfriend's going to notice it. She's going to take a bite of the cake. It, it's a, it's whimsical. It's imprinted on our minds because we've watched so many movies where we go, you know what? I just need to do something unique and fun and silly to make me stand out. It's not a bad job market. I'm just not creative enough. What if I sent him a griddle with my resume as the wrapping around it? Then I'd get a job. That's not the way it works. That's not going to help you. You have to figure out something. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news here. You're going to have to figure out something else. You're not going to fast food trick your way into employment. Sorry. Sorry, sending a re- box of raising canes over to the local bank and maybe they need a teller is not going to work. Sorry, guys.